Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on subtraction from zero. All right, so let's just talk about what we're doing when we're subtracting for zero from zero. So we have to talk about numbers that have zeros in in them, and so question is, what is three thousand? And we could say that it is. 2,990 plus 10. And this is the sort of thing that we use to um, subtract from zeros. We just pull out the 10 and we end up with numbers that we can subtract from. So if we start here with 3,000 minus 452, we know we can change the 3,000 into this. So 2990. Don't forget this is in the thousands place, all right? So that's definitely 2000. 2990, and that's because it's in this position. And here, as soon as we put that one there, this becomes a 10. So we have this, and this piece here is our additional 10. Now at this point, we can subtract. So we have 10 minus 2, which is the 8. 9 minus 5, which is the 4. 9 minus the 4, which is 5. 2 minus 0, sorry, 2 minus 0, which is the 2. And then if we're feeling like, oh man, I'm not really sure, this, this might be wrong, we just do a check. So 2, 5, 4, 8, added to 4, 52. 8 and 2 is 10, 0 carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 carry the 1. Again, 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 carry the 1. And here we have 3. All right, so then it does work. And this would be the answer. All right, so let's try a question. 200 minus 134. So we can say that 200 is essentially 190 plus 10. So then what we're going to do is say we have 1, 9, 0, and we'll put a 1 here because this piece is the 10. And we're subtracting 134. Now we can also say that we're borrowing here by having this here, but we're borrowing from the 20, all right, which turns it into a 19. So here we have 10 minus 4, which is 6, 9 minus 3, which is 6, and 1 minus 1, which is 0. So then the answer should be 66. And if we're thinking, oh, you know, I'm not sure. We just add it up. So 66 plus 134. 6 and 4 is 10. 0, carry the 1. Here we have 10 again. 0, carry the 1. And this becomes a 2. So we're good. Next one. So 6005 minus 447. Now, remember in this one, we split it into 190 plus 10. So we just pulled 10 out of the 200. So that's what we have to do here. We have to pull 10 out of the 6005. Now, if we're doing this by hand, sometimes you think, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. But think money. Think money. So six six thousand and five dollars. If you spent ten dollars, you'd have five nine nine five dollars. So six thousand and five is five nine nine five plus ten. So then what we do is we say, all right, so I have five. 995 and the 10 is the 1 
here, okay? So I'm making that a 15. Now we're subtracting for 47. 15 minus 7 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. And here we have a 5 again. Okay? And again, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure, you just take this number, add it to the 447, and see if it's correct. And it should be 2000, or 6005. All right, so here we have 5020 minus 894. So in this, in this situation, what we do is we start again on our left here. We see that we have a 0 minus 4, which we can't subtract. So we borrow from the 2. So we borrow a 10. Don't forget this is, this is um, a 20, essentially. So we're taking 10 out of the 20. This becomes a 1. And that other 10 moves over here. So now we have 10 minus 4, which is 6. But now we have 1 minus 9, which we can't, we can't subtract there. So we have to borrow from the 50. So we borrow a 1 from the 50. So this becomes a 49, and the 1 goes up here with the other 1. So now we have 11 minus 9, which is 2. Here we have 9 minus 8, which is 1, and 4 minus 0, which is 4. And again, if we're feeling unsure, we just take the 4126, add it to the 894, and it should equal 5020. Okay, last question. 7,000 minus 4, 3, 6, one. So again, we take 10 out of the 7,000. So we end up with 6, 9, 9, 0, plus the 10. And the 10 is the little one that's up here. And we're subtracting 4, 3, 6, 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, so that is um, subtraction, oh yeah we're good, that is um, subtraction from 0 and uh, that's been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a really good day, take care.